love and joy come to you and to you your family too and god bless you and send you a happy new year and god send you a happy new year well friends welcome to day seven it's also new year's eve <laughs> boy every new year's we look forward to the coming year and we look back, isn't it great that we can have kind of that transition time? But looking forward and looking back, it has its own challenges, like this one. When Prince wrote, we're gonna party like it's 1999, he wrote that back in 1982. And what he did was he looked forward at the destruction at the horrible things, at death, and everybody's got bombs, and, and the party's almost over. So, so what I'm gonna do in the midst of destruction is I will party like it's 1999, like there's no tomorrow. With that very sour look, he's, he wrote a, a theme song for the change of the millennia, happened a couple of years later. Well, people, have those same kind of thoughts about 2020 and 2021. We, we, look at, we can look at destruction and we can look at all the problems that we have, all the fears, all the decay, all the struggle, all the problems. We can look at it all and we can lose heart. We can say, say la vie, who cares? Just live it out, live any way you want to. Well, that's not a very helpful way to live as a follower of Jesus. When, when David saw the same thing around him, destruction and struggle and everything else, in the Psalms, he wrote these words. Can, can you hear a little different tone? Psalm 98, verses 1 through 9. Sing a new song to the Lord. For he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He's remembered his promise to love and to be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have now seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with the harp and with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sounds of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all things living in it join in. Let the rivers clap their hands with glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth and he will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. This is the word of the Lord. Well, friends, did you see how King David had a different way of looking at things? He was, instead of looking at destruction all around him and saying, well, let's just go for it, act any way we want to, he said, I have got a God who is faithful and just, and he's shown himself to all the nations. His faithfulness will endure in my household and the households after me. And so sing to the Lord a new song was his response. Now, new song doesn't mean like brand new, it's the latest thing that's happened, uh, the latest melody that's happened, like a brand new composition. It's really talking about singing a new song that in Hebrew, the word new means kind of like the latest thing. So sing about the latest thing that God has been doing for you. How blessed we are when we can remember the goodness of God overnight, for instance. Like we teach our children, uh, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. And this I ask for Jesus' sake. Or, or maybe in the Lord's Prayer, when, when we pray, uh, give us this day our daily bread, that everything we have and everything we are, everything that sustains us, comes from God's loving hand. And it's one of the reasons why when people say, you know, 
how are things going, Pastor? I say, God is good and we are blessed. That's the latest thing that's happening to me. And my eyes and my vision and my heart are all caught up in that. Like, like for instance, taking a simple thing in, in big and small ways, but a simple thing here. When I'm going to the hospital, and I've got a limited amount of time, and I don't need to be searching for a, a parking spot. I will normally heave up a prayer and say, God, prepare for me a parking spot at the right spot, at the right time, the right moment, in the right place so I can get in and get my hospital calls done and get the other things done with the day. And when God provides that, I say, thank you, Lord. You are good and you've provided. And when I go and I have to park a little further away, I say, thank you, Lord. You, you are blessing me, and I think what you're telling me is I need to exercise a little bit more, and I need to walk. Friends, when we have that kind of attitude towards what God is doing and how we are blessed, we can find hope and joy and peace in every day, and that's where life becomes a celebration. And it's not celebrating because Look at the doom. This is our last chance. Things aren't going to work out well. Therefore, let's just, let's just go for it. Party like it's 1999. Instead, it's celebrating because God watches over us every day and he never forgets his children. Let's pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, your goodness and your faithfulness come to all generations. By your hands, we are blessed. Help us to see that. Help us to live that. And, and help us put our trust in you so much that, uh, that we're ready to tell others, to take it to the street, to explain to others uh, the hope that we have. And we're ready to live love. As you lived your love for us in Jesus Christ, let us live our love and our lives for you. In his precious name we pray. Amen. Well, we'll see you in the new year. Oh, call.